As coronavirus cases surge across the country, a local nurse who survived COVID-19 is sharing her story. The mother of young triplets talks about the surprising impact of the virus on her family and is reminding people to stay vigilant. It happened to me, it can happen to you. It was late February when Catherine Emmert Koza went skiing in Vail with friends. Days after returning home to San Diego, she thought she had the flu. I was sick that very first week in March. Catherine, a nurse at Sharp Memorial Hospital, was working when her symptoms became severe. Coughing, I had body aches. She left work and went to urgent care, but did not meet the criteria to be tested for COVID-19. So she was given a flu test, which was negative, then sent home to rest. At the time, there were less than 200 confirmed coronavirus cases in the U.S. and only 12 known deaths. But still, Catherine wondered if it could be COVID. And I remember thinking kind of in the back of my mind, what if this is? And I thought, oh, no way. A few days later, she felt better. And with no fever, Catherine was cleared to return to work. But during her second shift back, she felt even worse than before. I had a, a horrible, horrible fever. And this the extreme fatigue and the shortness of breath. At one point, it almost felt like daggers were going in my chest. Revised CDC guidelines meant this time Catherine could be tested for COVID-19, but it would be more than two weeks before she finally received her positive test result on April 1st. I definitely was super worried about calling my boss right away. Catherine says she never removed her mask while she was at work, and fortunately, none of her coworkers or patients contracted the virus. Neither did any of the 50 women in the Las Patronas volunteer volunteer group she'd spent eight hours with the day after returning from Colorado. Catherine and her family also got tested for antibodies, and despite her symptoms lingering for five weeks, her husband and their eight-year-old triplets all tested negative. Do you find it incredible that your family members did not get it? It's shocking. Catherine believes keeping a safe distance from her family, Hi. Hi. only waving to her kids from across the room for weeks, the air hugs. and constant hand washing helped prevent the spread. Do you like being able to hug mom again? Yeah. <laughs> now, Catherine is hoping her story is proof that a little sacrifice can make a big difference. Please remember that um, you don't know if someone has it. Just wear the mask, wash your hands, do the social distancing. And if you don't think you're at risk, she's imploring you to do your part to help keep others safe. It's a time where we have to think about each other, not just ourselves. And then really have patience and be empathetic for all. We thank you for sharing your story, Catherine. Now, she is taking part in an antibody study at UC San Diego Health and will be donating her plasma to help others recover from COVID-19. Catherine personally knows people who have died from the virus and says she is humbled to be able to help in the fight against the disease.